subjectivity is true. And truth is subjectivity. Nothing is for certain but that truth resists simplicity. And there's more to human nature than the drive for mere felicity. We shift in gears to rift our years from searing doubts and scorching fears. But here and then came Kierkegaard with mind, pen and the avant-garde who reject the objective as a human canard and play their own hands from their own decks of cards. The present day is the reflective age where existential uncertainty glues page to next page, unable to read or exceed the next chapter, pursuing definitions of freedom, feelings and factors, involved in comprehending skepticism, the detractor. The brain is the reactor of active sensations. Its most important application is imperfect communication that at least breathes innovation. Ethics are culturally relative, and they live in individuals, from whence speaks objectivity when its word is merely biblical. It pains me to say it, but respiration may be trivial, and those so egotistical, conservative, political, with inflexible principles deserve the burn of ridicule. Where's our self-empowerment? Was it lost along with Sartre? Ayn Rand thought him irrelevant, John Galt to flocks by Bach, but I think her malevolent and doubt her like Descartes. Just observe it in art, where there's always ambiguity. From acceptance of unknowing can arise true ingenuity. Stutters have fluidity, and silent thoughts are euphony. I'm reading life's biography, so I might write its eulogy.